So adding fractions with variables is really no harder than just adding fractions in the first place. So let's say you've got uh, 3x over 5, and you want to add it to uh, 2x over 5. So this one already has a common denominator. So we're just going to go ahead and, and add right off the bat. So we're going to get 3x plus 2x on top. Let's write that like this. And we've got our common denominator of 5, so that just goes on bottom. Now 3x plus 2x is 5x, and we've got our common denominator of 5. So the answer is 5x over 5. And of course, whenever possible, you should reduce a fraction. So 5x over 5, the 5's cancel out, and I actually wind up just having x as the answer. So the answer to 3x over 5 plus 2x over 5 is actually just x. Uh, let's take a look at a second example where the denominators don't match up. So let's say you've got uh, 2x over 3 plus 4x over 5. So this time the denominators don't match, so we can't just add right off the bat. We're going to have to make these a common denominator. It's no big deal. The common denominator is 15 because 3 times 5 is 15. So we're going to do 15 here and 15 here. Put the plus sign so you don't forget it. It's always a good idea to copy straight down. So 3 times what is 15? The answer is 5. So we have to multiply the top by 5 as well. So 2x times 5, like that a dot, is 10x. 5 times what is 15? The answer is 3. So we multiply the top by 3 as well. 5 times 3 is 15. 4x times 3 is 12x. And now we add 10x plus 12x over 15. 10x plus 12x is 22x, and that's our answer. And then, of course, you should always reduce a fraction if you can, but this one doesn't reduce. 22 and 15 don't have any common terms. So your final answer, 22x over 15.